Hello and welcome back to The Elegant Life. Today we are deep diving into the secret of life. And we're also going to touch on the number one challenge that every single woman that is ever born will go through in her lifetime. The best thing that I'm going to share with you is how to overcome that challenge. So you come back to being the light that you are. You come back so powerful and so able to manifest miracles in your life. So we got a juicy episode. Pour yourself a tea, come back, and let's dive into this. Now you've heard me say that the reason that challenges come into our life is not for any haphazard reason. They are specifically coming into your life so that you transform them and you become even more of the light. You expand the light. Now, the way you deal with those challenges decides everything because the way you react to any challenge in your life, that's not predetermined. Mm -mm. You determine that. It is your choice. When you see these challenges as a pleasure, as a real opportunity. This is when the transformation happens quickly. And also this kind of challenge doesn't need to come into your life anymore. All right. So it's very, very key. If you desire to have a life that I call elegant, that flows, that's a choice to use the tools that I'm going to teach you. If you are okay with having major obstacles and up and down and dramatic life, how I used to have, if that's your choice, then that is okay too. That is okay. And yet your soul, which came here for a reason, will constantly make you dissatisfied with that existence. And so it will tap your soul and say, remember, remember, remember. And then one day when you get to a moment of real, real struggle, you might have an awakening moment where you say enough is enough. I'm choosing to live my life by a new set of rules, the rules and the laws of the universe. So let's dive into now the number one challenge that every single woman female will go through in this lifetime and then how to respond to these challenges in a way that ignites your power and your light and unlocks miracles in your life. So the number one challenge that every single woman will have to overcome and transform in her lifetime is this, feeling secure in herself. Hear that again, feeling secure in herself, to know herself, to love herself, and to know her value and her worth. Now, the reason why all of us women come here feeling this way is because we are born the vessel, okay? We are the receiver. Men, they have their own issues, but we are the receivers. We are the vessel. And we feel this darkness and this emptiness that needs to be filled with light. Many women might come into this world a very charismatic, very bold character at first, and yet some experience may come into her life where people criticize her, that tell her she's too much, okay? Other women might be born into a family where there's a lot of criticism, a lot of judgment, a lot of saying, who do you think you are? Or you're not good enough. You're never going to be anything. They might have that experience. Some women might have a beautiful experience until they get to their 20s and they might start attracting men who are degrading her, who cheat on her, who abuse her. If you simply go through your life and criticize that guy that did that or blame the, the government or blame your boss or blame the friend or, you know, if you're constantly pointing outside and being the victim, which I did for many, many, many years, so I'm talking from experience, you have to know that that literally has separated you from what you really are, the light. I wanted to give you an example because often when I give examples like with objects or stories or analogies, it really sets this in and makes it understandable. 
So if you view all of the baggage that your soul agreed to come into this life with, it's like, okay, all this stuff. And your job is to clear one challenge after another. Once you clear it, you have this filled with light. And so you will start getting people saying to you, wow, who are you? Wow, you're glowing. I always feel so good when I'm around you. Why? Because your whole energy field will be different. If people are moving away from you, this is just an opportunity to pause and look inward. So ladies, we've got some things to overcome and I want to teach you how to do that. So are you ready for the step by step? Follow me along. So when a challenge comes into your life, you want to first pause. Don't react. The reacting is the ego. It is the thing that will react really quickly because it wants you to feel comfortable. It wants you to feel safe. It doesn't want you to feel bad. So it's going to blame someone else. Oh, I feel better because it's not me, right? But that is just going to keep you separate. No growth, no transformation is going to happen. So if you're asking for miracles, but you're still doing that kind of reactive behavior, you have to know there is no way your miracle can come true. The only way is to transform this into light, but you've always got free will, okay? So when this challenge comes into your life, you first of all, pause. That step alone could take a month, two months, three months of practice. It's not easy. Do you know why? Because the ego is so quick to react. It doesn't want you to feel uncomfortable. So it will quickly blame, label something bad. It'll make you complain. It'll keep you out here so that nothing has to feel uncomfortable. Yet the uncomfortability is where the transformation happens. Just you doing that pause will remove something from your bag because you literally have the space now to come into the light. I like to give the example that if you're driving in the dark and you go, uh-oh, I'm lost, and you stop. Stopping is a good thing instead of carrying on and just saying, well, I'll see where I end up, and you end up like somewhere so far off path. If you literally stop, a moment of potential has occurred. Then when you go inside and you feel the uncomfortability, just let it come, just let it come, just let it come. And when you get the point where you can say, okay, this opportunity has come into my life for me to transform it. And wow, when I get through this one, the amount of light that's going to be coming in because there's so much darkness is going to be incredible. So I am choosing to follow the, the rules of the, of the universe, not my ego. That alone clears a huge amount. Now, what do you do when you get to the point of, okay, I'm excited, what a pleasure. You ask the light. So now this would be the point in my analogy where you plug in the GPS system and you listen to the guidance. It's gonna tell you what to do. So here inside, you're going to ask questions. Why am I here? Why have I ended up here? Is there something to teach me? Am I this same way to other people? Have I ever acted this same way to other people? Am I being called to be a specific attribute of a light right now? Why has this come into my life? Show me. Now, you can hear it. You can journal it, whatever feels right in that moment, go inside, write it down and receive the answers, receive the guidance. But here is another point that could take you a long time because what happens with these issues about ourselves is they are very 
very sneaky and they hide behind things that look right. You know, well, I'm just really, I'm supposed to own my power. And so if I own my power, then this has come into my life so that I, I stand up for myself even more. And yet, and yet the sneaky thing hiding behind even that is that you don't feel good enough. So it's really, really tricky. And that's why sometimes you need to work with a professional. Okay, so you receive your answer. Now comes the next stage, which is mastery. You have to practice being the opposite way than you've been being. You have to embody that attribute of the light. You have to respond differently when people say those things to you. You know, if someone right now Let's do a little experiment. If someone right now wrote you an email and told you something that you did and it really bothered them and they actually listed out a whole bunch of things that criticized you, how would you react? Be honest. Would you say, who the hell do you think you are? You think you're so perfect? Well, let me tell you a couple of things that you got wrong with you. and. You might, mm, you might write a text to a friend and say, you'll never guess what this person said or did. You might start feeling totally bad about yourself and shameful. And you'll start hating upon yourself and judging yourself. Whoa, this is, th just doing this example will show you the areas, the directions for healing. If you choose to follow a new set of rules, the laws of the universe, and you pause instead of reacting, and you ask the light, what are you trying to teach me? What is it I'm needing to learn? Have I ever done that to someone? Maybe not directly to someone, but have I thought those things? Or have I gossiped about someone and said those things? How am I being called to be more of a light right now? What can I do? Guide me, show me. That clears out. Oh, look, I've got a chopstick. <laughs> we should do a what's in her bag. You clear the chopsticks. You got another thing out. Wow. It's totally through me. So what you do every time you choose to respond this way is you fill your vessel with light because you've released some of the darkness, right? That's what happens. And when you do that, you unlock new miracles. Here's another analogy I love. If you were someone whose parents created a trust fund for you and your parents said, okay, when you earn your first hundred thousand dollars, I, will unlock $100,000 from your trust fund. And when you earn another 100,000, I'll unlock another 100,000. And if you go big time and you earn $200,000, I will unlock $200,000 from your trust fund. It's like this in the spiritual world, truly. When you earn more light, bigger miracles will come into your life. That's why, <laughs> fun and not fun, when you go up the levels, sometimes the big challenges come. And just know that if you do this work, the miracles that will be unlocked for you are magnificent. And I'm experiencing that over and over and over. A lot of people might think that the last few years have been real peachy for me and they have been amazing on so many levels and yet these years have provided some very big opportunities for me. Now I don't share them all publicly because look, I share a lot already but I don't need to share everything but there's been some private and personal things that have come into my life that have really triggered a lot of things. And the growth that I've done because I choose to use the laws of the universe, I just keep getting miracle after miracle unlocked. And this is what I want for you. This is, 
the divine birthright of all of us and my calling in life, not my purpose, but my calling is to be someone that helps you, gives you the keys and the tools to unlock your own destiny. The one that the light wants you to experience. And this is the way you unlock it. So ladies, even though we have quite a big challenge to overcome, it doesn't need to take a long time and it doesn't need to last a lifetime. I will leave all of the links to the tools and the keys and the programs and things like that below that you can go look at and feel into where you are on your self-realization journey. Start, begin, it's never too late. And just remember, it doesn't have to take long. You simply have to commit. And I just want you to know that there probably won't be a video next week because it is a big holiday here in Turkey and I'm having a big group of family come over for the week. So I won't have one probably next week, but I'll see you the week after. But in the meantime, keep practicing. Keep pausing. Mwah. Love you so much.